Today, we're going to be taking a look at some two-step word problems. They're very similar to what we did yesterday, except, well, there's more than one step. In some cases, you have to do about two or three. So one thing I want you to remember is as we get started with fourth grade, we're only going to be focused on addition and subtraction. So those are the only two operations you really need to be thinking about today. Today, you're going to be working on 10 problems that you can solve on your whiteboard or scrap paper. After you solve them, those are going to be the answers for your exit slip. We're going to go over some of those problems right in the Zoom. I'm going to do one right now for you. So I want you to think about the structure that I use to help solve these, because this is the same kind of structure or strategy that I want you to use on your whiteboard or scrap paper. So first thing I'm going to do is read the problem. Sandy had 178 link stickers. That's a cat. Sandy gave 27 stickers to Jess, 50 stickers to her sister, and an additional 80 stickers to Sally. How many stickers does Sandy still have? So if I think about what information I know, I know that Sandy had 178 stickers. I know that she gave Jess 27, gave sister, 50 and gave 80 to Sally. Is there any information missing? No, I don't really have any information missing other than obviously what the question is asking. All right, now I'm going to draw a visual. So I can think of Sandy as having 178 stickers. And I can think of her as giving S S Jess, a lot of S's here, 27. I can think of her as giving her sister 50. And I can think of her as giving Sally 80. Do you see how drawing that picture kind of helps me think about what operation I'm going to use? Because I know she had 178 and she gave all of these away. What operation do we use when we give things away? Hmm. Now I'm going to think about what the question is asking. The question wants me to figure out how many Sandy has left. Oh my goodness. Hey, easy enough. So now I have to think about what steps am I going to use to solve this problem? Well, I can, I'm pretty sure when I give something away, like taking it away, same thing, which we know is subtraction. So that means that I'm going to need to take my original number, 178, and sub, oh, where did my drawing go? And subtract. It just disappeared, didn't it? There we go. I'm going to take 178 and subtract each of these numbers from it to get to my final answer. I'm going to go ahead and solve that right here. I solved the first subtraction part for you. 178 minus 27 is 151. You need to solve the rest of it on your own. When you think about solving these two-step problems, or multiple-step problems, I should say, you need to take your time and think about what is the problem really asking you. Drawing a diagram is one of the best ways to be able to visualize what's happening in a problem. See you soon at the Zoom.